Hello and welcome to a new video about my Orga car. Before I'm going to print this, I needed to have some, some idea how it should look like. And well, I now designed this idea. Look at that. This is how my Orga car should look like. So I have left and right, I have my two Orga drives. Yeah. Uh, I hope it is enough that we can get that is not wiggly. Uh, we will see how this turns out, but I'm very confident that it is this is all right. Mm. Then I have here here at the bearings, uh, like like last time. Change transparency, change transparency. Like shown you in the in the idea video, here is the radial, here is the axial drive. I want to connect this here yeah, so that I can adjust the, the radial the radial free run should be zero, so I will move this to this direction. And here I can select if I should do it a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, so that we can adjust the length of the total shaft. Yeah? And here, this is ab this is absolutely the same. Uh, this is absolutely the same here. Uh, also here, radial bearing, axial bearing, everything the same. Uh, I'm going to mount this with little parts. Uh, so the, the the bearing the bearing housing is mounted at a, at a big plate. This big plate is as big as my printer can print it. Yeah, uh, this gives the size of this thing. Um, and whoa. and here I have the two stepper motors uh, with the belt drive. This should this should be alright if we have a look here. This should be alright so that we have enough room here in between our wall and our, for, and our belt. Uh, that this is this is working. Here this is a long hole so that I can. Uh, that I can remove or, or remove the tension to change the, the to change the belt or or uh, high, heighten the tension so that the belt is then good good applied. Here are my two stepper motors, one for this for this part. One for this part, mm. and here, since I have not detailed now how my power supply should look like, huh? this is still. Uh, I have here two rooms left and right. One for power supply, accumulators, batteries. I tend to use uh, light lithium ion batteries here somewhere, yeah? and then on the other side, I will mount my controller. Yeah? The controller, there should be enough room here for the controller and the CNC shield, and here for power supply part. But I have not designed it yet because I'm not entirely sure how to produce them. Um, well, so what I'm going to do is uh, that I will think about how to print those parts and well. This I'm going to do now. So I'm opening this part now. Save as STL part. This part. Is now a steel file.
there you see we have maxed my printing area out. Uh, just millimeters. So that's the maximum value I can I can use. Hours printing time for the plate. Okay. Fifteen and a half hours. Let's see if we have a winner how much <laughs> how much time it will take to print those. Takes a while. <laughs> Twenty one hours. Alright. Looking nice. Looking nice. One hundred fifty millimeters. I think this is also maximum. Two hundred ten. Yeah. Let's see how does it look like? I'm not sure if I could, would be able to print this without. I guess not. I guess not. I will keep the. I will keep because you know it takes eight hours just to print this filling material, mm. and it's just fifty-five grams. In total, we have yeah, third, third. Make it like that, make it like that. I've exported the cheat code. Yes. All right, so these are now my parts. Now, my 3D printer, all parts will be printed in PTG. And my 3D printer will be busy over the next couple of times. What I do, what I'm going to print first, I think I'm going to print first this bearing stuff so that I can insert my, my bearings and see if they fit or if I have adjust something. That's now the bigger question for me. Right. So this is, these are my parts. Now we're printing. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.